in the last video we were able to get this screen pretty much all done we have the navigation set up to the edit profile screen the sign out screen or the sorry the edit profile fragment and the sign out fragment and also this back arrow right here now i'm going to build this edit profile uh, fragment layout here so um to get started i just want to actually close everything and what are we going to do we're going to open up the uh edit profile fragment and I already know I'm going to be using toolbars, so I'm going to create changes to a coordinator layout, and we can get rid of the orientation. And then I'm going to create a relative layout to encapsulate everything. Uh, no need to give that an ID. I'm going to create another relative layout. I'm going to do match parent and then wrap content on that one. And this one I'm going to give an ID. I'm going to give it an ID of rel layout one. And inside this relative layout is where I'm going to be putting the toolbar. So I'll just leave that there for now. And then this relative layout, I'll do match parent and match parent. And this one is going to be below uh, rel layout one. And it's going to have an ID of rel layout two. And so this one's just going to be kind of the, the middle of the profile. It's going to be pretty much everything except for the toolbar. You notice there's also no bottom navigation view here. It's just going to be um, toolbar on the top and then uh, a center portion in the middle. So we'll build that uh, that toolbar. I'm actually going to copy this snippet top account settings to toolbar and just paste it in here. And I'm going to say um, edit profile toolbar, and it's going to be very similar, but um, at the top here it'll say edit profile and then you have your back arrow just like we had before but now we're also going to add another arrow on the side and it's going to be a green one so this is going to be um, I guess save changes and this is going to be IC check mark and we're going to align oops align parent right true and that's probably going to be good. So let's actually import that image. We'll click on draw, we'll go to new image asset, action bar and tab icons. I'm going to call it check mark as I specified. And let's see if we can find a check mark. Yeah, so right there is a check. Let's grab that and change the color. Mm, probably somewhere around there is probably good. Looks good looks good hit finish and there we go so now we have our check mark showing up at the top there looks pretty good looks like that and that's what we're going to use to actually save changes that we make to the profile so now we'll go back into uh, edit profile fragment here we get our include tag and do layout uh, snippet top profile tool wait no yeah top profile toolbar edit profile toolbar there we go and now we can build kind of the center region. So we'll create a new layout file. And this one's gonna be, um, I guess we'll call it a snippet also. Snippet center edit profile. So this one's gonna be pretty easy to make, but it's gonna be pretty, pretty large. Um, I'm just gonna grab these merge tags and close the merge. And um, so we're gonna to need to use a scroll view for the whole thing. Oh, what's that? Scroll view, there we go. And it's just gonna be match parent and match parent. So width, match parent, and height, match parent. And I don't need to use an ID or anything. And then we're gonna use a relative layout and do match parent wrap content. And we can do background, Let's just set the background color to white. And let's do some padding so that everything kind of gets brought into the center. 20 dp. And um, the first the first part here is there's gonna be this circle image and then this change photo link. So we're gonna use our circle image that we uh, used imported from the library earlier in earlier videos. I guess we'll go with maybe 120 dp to start. And we'll give it an ID of, whoops, profile photo. And we'll do a margin on the top, 20 dp. And we'll do border color black. And then border width will be 2 dp. 
And then below that, what do we got? We got the text view to change the, the image. So text view, uh, this one should be, I guess we can just do wrap content, or yeah, wrap content and wrap content, and then I can just uh, adjust the text size. So change, what does it say? Change photo, I think it says. Change photo, yeah. And we'll give it an ID, change profile photo, and we want to put it below profile photo, and profile image, or what is it? Pro profile photo. And center horizontal, true. And then we want to change the text color to be that, that link blue that we have uh, put in there already. We put it in previous videos, and we'll do text size, maybe uh, 16 SP. And that should be okay. Now, so what's next? Probably better to do this in a bunch of relative layouts. So like, uh, I can take a picture so that uh, you know what I'm talking about. So these here, this I'll make its own relative layout and then set uh, a gray border on the bottom. And then I'll just repeat that process. So it'll be the relative layout, relative layout, relative layout, relative layout. And inside the relative layout, I'll just do an image view and a text view and just align them right next to each other. That would probably be the easiest way. So I'll put a relative layout. Where should I put it? I guess I should probably put it inside this one. So relative layout, do match parent, and then just do 50 dp for the width. And we'll do below ID uh, prof, what is it? Change profile photo. And do margin top. ADDP and then that uh, background so gray border bottom is what we're after or what does it look like does it go all the way across uh, no that should be good like that and I'll give this an ID of rel layout did I already label that one relative layout nope so this will be relative layout one so I could label these actually too I can do um uh, display name section, I guess. This is where it's going to be your display name. And then put an image view, do 35 dp by 35 dp, and give it an ID. Actually, I don't need to give these an ID. I can just set the, uh, set the image right here. So this one will be, oh, I don't have these ICs in, so I'll just make them all IC alert for now, and then I'll uh, import a bunch of images later. It's going to be center vertical, true. And then next to that, we're going to have, actually, these are going to be edit text. That's what they're going to be because the uh, user needs to be able to edit these. So we'll do match parent and then wrap content. And this first one is going to be the username and center vertical, true. Margin start. Let's do 40 dp. So it's on the other side of that uh, that widget because that thing's going to be 35 dp so if we make it 40 dp we know that, uh, that that'll give us plenty of room and you can see that it's kind of got that gray border on the bottom because it's an edit text we can actually make that go away by doing background at null and input type text no suggestions that'll get rid of the autocorrect uh, or sorry I guess you could call it the spell check too Okay, so that'll be the first the first part. Now let's copy that and do that again. We're gonna do it four, three more times. So the next one is gonna be, let's see, uh, that name, actually this one's gonna be the display name. That's gonna be the, so I'll change this to display name and go back and we can change that to relative layout two. But I wanna go back up here. Uh, oh yeah, change this to username. That's what I want, there we go. And that'll be display name. And it's gonna be pretty much the same, but we're gonna get rid of this margin top. And I'm gonna say I want it below relative layout two, relative layout one. There we go. And so we change the ID, this is gonna be different. And that's pretty much it, yeah, because the text will just be different. <clears throat> All right, so we can add some hints in here. Let's go into the edit text field. Go hint, uh, this is username. Although that should never be null if it's pulling data correctly from the database, but we can still put a hint anyway. Uh, let's do display name. And now we'll copy that relative layout 
one more time. Actually, we still need to do it another time after that. And this section, let's take a look. This is going to be where the website goes. So we'll call this relative layout three. Uh, this is going to be website. Copy that. Whoops. Change that to website. And we want to say go below relative layout two. And then change the hint to website. Okay. I want to add a little bit of actually a little bit of margin on here. Let's do margin top 15 DP and I'm going to throw that in each one of these relative layouts. Put that in that guy. I'm not going to put it in the top one. Um, this is a very small screen. Yeah, there we go. And copy. So this is going to be the last time we're going to copy it down at the bottom. And this is going to be the description. So this is your profile description. We'll call this relative layout four. This is going to be description and description. Oh, and then below, I have to do the below right here. So that goes to relative layout three. Cool. Coming together. Oh, something wrong with that image. I need to center that horizontally. Center horizontal true. Okay, that looks much better. Uh, now, what do we got left? Now we're going to go down here, and this is where you're going to have your private information like your email and your phone number. So uh, we'll do a big heading, a big uh, text view heading, uh, which I'll put right here to text view, uh, match parent, and I'll just do wrap content and set the text size to maybe 25 SP and see what that looks like and do text, private, oops, private information and do below relative layout four and center horizontal true, um, margin top, maybe 40 DP. Um, let's wrap content so it centers. And let's do text color black and background. I don't have a black border bottom, so let's make a, actually no, a new gray, gray border bottom works fine, I think, I believe that's what it looks like, yeah, that's fine. And maybe a little bit of a bigger margin there. And almost done, we're just gonna do two more relative layouts here, just like we did with these, so, oh. So two more relative layouts, one right here and one right here. And so sort of the same idea as what we're doing up here, so I'm just gonna copy that description, go here. This is gonna be uh, email section. This is gonna be relative layout five. We're gonna go below. Uh, I gotta give this an ID. So text private info. I'll go below text private info. ID will be email and email. Cool. So one last time, we're almost done. It actually went a lot faster than I thought it was going to. So phone number section. Going to be relative layout six. Uh, this is going to be below relative layout five. Uh, this is going to be phone number and type phone number. Okay, so that's actually pretty much done except for the icons that we got to get in. Um, I guess this video might as well finish the video by importing all the images. So let's go, whoops, and get those images. So right click on Drawable, new image asset. And we'll start at the bottom. So I'm going to grab, I guess, a phone icon, something that looks like a phone. Uh, we'll grab smartphone, Android phone, sure. So I see, go I see phone and the colors. What are the colors like? They're gray. So let's do hollow, hollow light. And that should be good. Finish. So now we'll do the email one. So right click, import image asset, same thing. Let's look for email, oh, that's good, perfect. And rename this email, next finish. Right click, import image asset, uh, actually more tab icons. This one's gonna be the description. So kind of at this point, I don't know, whatever you prefer, just use there's no 
there's no right or wrong icon here. If you want to copy Instagram, then copy Instagram, but you might have to go looking around for um, for the icons that Instagram has. Uh, I don't know, let's grab this one. Call it description, sure. And next one is gonna be the website one. So maybe web. Web, sure. So grab the web. Next, next. And then display name. Um, that one I want to do for the top username. Actually, I'll use that one for the top username. This one I'll do uh, display name. So display name. Oh, damn it. Display name, okay, and there we go. And last one. Gonna grab uh, this guy right here. And let's just say username. And we're done. All right, let's set these icons. I'm gonna go to the very top. And uh, First image view is here, so I've already got the source. Uh, so this one, uh, what did I put here? Username, right. And this one was uh, display name, and this one was web, and this guy was description, and uh, here we go, email and phone number cool so there we go that actually uh, i didn't think i was going to be able to finish that in one video but it was it went pretty fast so now we have to just throw in our snippet here so we go include layout uh, snippet center editor profile and we're done so there is going to be our profile screen and the next one i'm probably going to start setting up the image loader so that we get a so that we get a profile image displaying here just just for testing it's not gonna actually pull from the database yet and I'm gonna get some images probably in this grid view here but once again not from the database yet just strictly to make sure that we got the image loader working correctly and all the images are actually loading into the widgets so I'll see you guys in the next video